let's apply this to our rack and see what some of the implications are for operating at lower voltages. So going back to our 20 kilowatt rack, we're saying V cell is now going to be lower. So let's say we take V cell to be something typical, like 0.7 volts. How does that impact us? So we said we wanted a stack voltage of 380 volts. So I think that means we're going to need more cells. So M, this would be 380 volts divided by 0.7 volts, which is 540 cells. So that's one impact of operating below the um, reversible cell potential. And then meanwhile, think about the electrical work. We said that this electrical work is M times V cell times I cell. So I cell, this is our 20,000 watts. Um, divided by 540 cells, divided by 0.7 volts. This is going to be 53 amps that we have to pass through our system. So I think about how big are these cells. The area of each cell, this would be the current on each cell divided by the current density. Um, so we're passing 53 amps. And um, if we kind of use this polarization curve as our guide, um, let's say at 0.7 volts, we're producing one amp per square centimeter. This would be one amp per centimeter squared. Amps cancel. This would give us 53 square centimeters. So we're talking about a cell with an active area you know, you might have a cell that looks like this. The area of the cell, if it's a square cell, this would be about seven centimeters. Or about, you know, like that big, something like that. So imagine a cell this big, a couple inches, three inches, and there's 540 of them stacked vertically. If they're thin enough, then whatever height that's going to be. Let's say the cells are three millimeters tall. Then the height of our stack would be 53, or sorry, 540 times three millimeters. And that all adds up to 162 centimeters, which is quite high. That's 1.6 meters. Probably difficult to have a long, thin thing like that. So, my guess is that for an application like this, we would need to split this up um, into multiple stacks. And this kind of gets back to a question earlier about, well, can you do ever run packed stacks in series or in parallel? And the answer is yes. So in this case, we, what we might do is make take a bunch of stacks and run them in series. So imagine a three by three array of stacks. That would be nine total stacks. And if we did that, we could limit their height to maybe 20 centimeters. So this is the point I'm getting to is I think with, with just with some of these, you know, if you have a polarization curve for cell performance and you have some knowledge about your application, it's not too difficult to make some of these sort of back of the envelope estimates of how big the cells are going to be, how tall this might be, how you might arrange it in a logical way in order to be able to uh, minimize the surface area of the stacks and, and so forth. The more detailed design of how we would actually arrange these stacks, how you distribute the fuel and those kinds of things we'll get into as we go.